I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the diagonal spike stitch, which is the pattern that you see here in front of you. This is a fairly stable pattern, uh, although it does create almost this lacy uh, like appearance here in between these sets of three double crochet stitches. It's uh, once you get the hang of it, it's a quite quite easy to work. It is a one row repeat once you get it set up and uh, it's quite pretty. It has this nice touch of texture with these spike, spike stitches in it. So uh, today for the tutorial I'm going to be using a six millimeter crochet hook along with the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspiration. There will be links in the notes for this video regarding both of the items that I'm using here today. Thank you so much for joining me and if it's your first time I invite you to check out some of the other videos here on my channel and of course don't forget to subscribe. So grab a hook and some yarn and let's crochet this diagonal spike stitch. So for our stitch today it is worked in rows. We're going to start by making our foundation chain and then we're going to need a multiple of four stitches to start. So today I am going to start by chaining 20. There's 10. Eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. So you'll need a multiple of four stitches. For row one, you're going to skip the first three chains. Into the next chain, you're going into the next three chains actually, you're going to work one double crochet stitch. So you're going to skip the first three chains, and that those first three are going to count as a double crochet. Then into the fourth, you're going to work a double crochet stitch and then a double crochet stitch into each of the next two chains. We are now going to work the first of our spike stitches. Now a spike stitch is simply a stitch that is worked either deeper into the row or across other stitches. So in this case, we're going to be working across these th last three double crochets. We want it to be a double crochet spike stitch. So we're going to start by yarning over and we're going to bring our hook in front of our work and back into the same chain that we worked our first double crochet stitch and you're going to insert your hook so back into that first chain insert your hook it's going to come through there the, the back you're going to grab your yarn and pull it through around all three of those stitches and then you're going to bring it up a little bit you're going to bring it just across those three stitches over to where you're working your other stitch. You don't want to pull it too tight because then you'll cause those double crochets to bunch together. So pull it gently across over to where you're working your next stitch. And you're going to have three loops on your hook. You're now going to finish the double crochet stitch just as you would a normal double crochet. So yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two more like so. Don't worry I'm going to show you that again. So now you have this spike stitch running across your three double crochets worked into that same chain as your first double crochet. Now because your spike stitch does count as a stitch you're going to skip that next chain down below and then in the next you're going to in the next three you're going to work one double crochet. So one double, go skip one chain and work one double crochet in each of the next three chains. Just like so. You're now going to work another spike stitch. You're going to once again cross over these stitches and work into the same chain that you worked the first double crochet in this set of three. So yarn over 
bring your hook in front of your work, insert it into that same chain where you worked that double crochet stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're gonna pull it through gently because you don't want them to bunch together and pull the yarn over to where you're working your next stitch. Like so. You're then going to complete your double crochet stitch, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two more. And you have your next spike stitch. Skip the next chain, and then into the next three, work one double crochet stitch. You're going to repeat this all the way across. So there's three or two and then three followed by a spike stitch worked back into that first chain of the first double crochet in this set of three. Skip the next chain one double crochet in each of the next three spike stitch and when you come to the end of your chain you're going to have two chains left you're going to skip the next chain and then just work one double crochet into that final chain And that's what your first row is going to look like. You're then going to chain three, which counts as a stitch, turn your work, and you're ready to begin row two. You'll see that this uh, pattern looks exactly the same on the front as it does on the back. So it's a great reversible pattern. You're now going to essentially uh, repeat that row except now we're working into our stitches instead of the foundation chain so you're going to work one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so skip that first stitch because you have your chain three coming out of it then work one double crochet in each of the next three and now work a spike stitch and this time your spike stitch is going to come down into the top of that uh, double crochet so yarn over, bring it down into the same stitch you worked that first double crochet stitch. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two more. Skip the next stitch and then one double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And you've probably got it by now. Spike stitch working back into the first double crochet, the same stitch as the first double crochet in that set of three. Skip the next stitch, one double crochet in each of the next three. And that's all there is to working this diagonal spike stitch. It's simply a one row repeat. You're going to continue to work that pattern until uh, you desire to stop it. And, uh, yeah, that's all there is. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you again. Happy crocheting. Bye.